What's up guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass and today is another bonus video. Welcome to Tuesday. We never do Tuesday videos. Nope. But today is the last day of the Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sales going on at Tackle Warehouse. So we wanted to get one more buyer's guide in there for you guys. Now this does not end the buyer's guide series. There will be a bunch more, but we might take a little break as we get closer to the holidays and then pick back up and do a bunch more of them. But today what we're gonna do on the final day of the sale is we picked a handful of our favorite plastics. Uh, 12 to be exact. Some of them are tried and true, must have standby baits. Other ones are must have baits, but they are not necessarily baits that you've ever thrown, necessarily even heard of, but we picked 12 of them out. We're each gonna talk about a handful of them, throw you some curveballs. They're in no particular order. Take it away. Yes, so you guys survived the weekend. Hopefully your bank accounts did too. <laughs> we have, uh, yeah, we have a pretty good series going and uh, we're gonna start off with the Sanko. This is a buyer's guide for soft plastics that you can use year round, not just winter time. And the Yamamoto Senko, we've done videos on the past, is probably the most universal, most used bait in bass fishing. Yeah. You can rig it so many different ways, Nico rig, ball head, wacky rig, Texas rig, you name it. But the Senko, super universal, and it catches giants. It's got that real subtle fall and uh, don't leave home without a pack of Senkos. <laughs> that was quite the that was quite the wrap up there. I like that. Yeah. All right. Next one. Again, no particular order. Zoom Super Fluke. Not necessarily my favorite bait in the middle of December. Although you can fish them slow and fish them deep on a jig head, but another one of those baits that you, truly you don't leave home without. Uh, you can fish it as a topwater. You can fish it reactive subsurface. You could slow fish it like a Senko, let it just drop. So many different things you can do with them. And just like a Senko, they are pretty inexpensive. Uh, you can stock up on a pack or two, especially when they're on sale, and just put them away. One of my favorite colors that I've fallen in love recently with is Tennessee Shad. Uh, I picked that up this fall. I had not thrown that color before because it doesn't perfectly match the bait fish that are in our waters but it's one of those colors that just appears to be universal and just works everywhere. Next bait I'm gonna talk about is the Strike King, the Fat Baby Finesse Worm. Now the cool thing about Strike King during this sale is it's actually a total of 30% off of Strike King baits. So it's a great product to pick up, but the Fat Baby Finesse, great colors, great size, it's a great drop shot worm and shaky head worm. Mm -hmm. We've caught big ones on it, but the Fat Baby Finesse by Strike King. Next one. Again, another bait that you're gonna throw in that same ballpark, you know, Texas rig and shaky head, that sort of thing. A little bit bigger. Now, you guys probably throw a Zoom Trick Worm. Everybody throws a Zoom Trick Worm, right? They're on every boat anywhere in the country. You may or may not have ever thrown a T-Mac. Let me pull one out of here. Six and a half inch T-Mac literally identical to the trick worm, except it's fatter in the head section. So you don't have to bite the end of your trick worm off before you thread it onto your shaky head. You come out of the pack and do it. Plus, not gonna lie, they smell better. Do they? Tell me, <laughs> am I lying? No, come on. Better than a trick worm. Black licorice. Smells pretty good. I'm gonna talk about the man bear pig. I don't know if you guys have seen the South Park episode but that is the man bear pig. Uh, Reacts Innovations. It's a lot like a brush hog. Mm -hmm. It's just got different action. Hopefully you guys got to see that uh, fish off between Matt and I. Oh, the spring. When we were Last in, spring. Yeah, down in Arizona, that flipping. We couldn't get bit on anything except for the man bear pig. Little different action. Still great quality and colors from Reaction Innovations. They have a ton of colors, great baits. That is an awesome bait to flip to Carolina rig, to Texas rig, very universal. Mm -hmm. That is a winner. Another one that you may not have ever thrown, Kytec, we all know Kytec. Have you ever thrown the crazy flapper? Creature bait, comes in a variety of sizes. The largest is my personal favorite. Uh, you have to separate all the claws on it to get the action and then that thing is going crazy in the water. I like to throw it on a light Texas rig, Carolina rigged it, 
handful of different ways to fish it, but typically just slow on bottom, flip it under docks, let it fall on a slow Texas rig. Such an awesome bait. Catches big largemouth, may or may not have stuck spotted bass on our boat up in the nine pound range. Seriously, a winner of a bait that is overlooked. It's a large creature bait that gets wolfed. Check those out. You want to talk about a bait that smells good? I dare you to smell those. <laughs> well, I mean, it has got the strong squid <laughs> scent. Nothing screams bass fishing like strong squid scent. But seriously, there is something magical about that. Here's your disgusting squid smell. If you guys notice anything different about this video, it's because we lack of sleep. Long nights, early mornings. Seriously, it was a long weekend. Yeah. It was a long but weekend. We went through it too. We survived uh, the holiday sale. We bought quite a bit of stuff. But Good Lord. Uh, anyways, the Robo Worm. This is the a live shad. So this bait, where this bait shines for me, if I'm uh, drop shotting deep clear water reservoirs, colder water, this is a phenomenal drop shot bait. It's got that shad profile, bait fish profile. Again, Robo Worm. Lots of great colors, so you can match the, the bait fish that are in your bodies of water. But the Robo Worm, this guy is an awesome bait to drop shot and throw on a little shaky head. What color is that? Is that Prism Shad? That's Hologram Shad. Hologram. Can you guys see that color? That color looks ridiculous. Yeah, Robo Worm, they got some, some phenomenal colors. All right, I'm going to talk about the tube. How can you talk plastics and not talk about a tube? Uh, this is a tube that actually Tim turned me on to. Three and a half inch tournament tube, dry creek. Uh, I mean, what do you even say about it? If you, if you don't fish a tube when the going gets tough and when the water gets cold, you are making a mistake. Whether you're on a power fishery, I mean, we throw a tube out here on Clear Lake, or you're on a true finesse fishery where other guys are drop shotting and Ned rigging. The tube is just different. And of course, you know, if you're a northern smallmouth guy, it's an absolute must have. Uh, but the tube is an amazing way to go when things toughen up. Uh, we like to throw it on an exposed jig head, lighter line. Uh, because, you're on, because you are exposed, you can go with really light line and still get a hook in them. And you can really finesse that bait and stick a lot of fish. Tube is super universal. You can, you can fish it to match how the fish want their the, the act, what's the word, how, how fast or how active mm -hmm. they want the bait. You know, you can pop that tube, you can hop it, you can drag it, everything in between. That is a fish producer. Next thing I'm gonna talk about, the turd, the TRD by <laughs> Z-Man. Where do you go, you know, from here? This has been in everybody's it's top, changed. top five it's in the last It's changed everybody's years. life, just like the yeah. Senko did. Yeah, it's, it's a must have. The Z-Man has uh, that Elastec, Plastic, out. so it's super stretchy, super uh, resilient. Let's see, they're really stretch. So you can catch a lot of fish, especially smallmouth and stuff that really hammer those baits and, and thrash them. You can get a lot of fish on uh, the TRD. Another bait I'm gonna throw in there is gonna be the Robo Worm version of the uh, TRD. Great colors. We we fished a lot of smallmouth fisheries this year, and that was the bait that we were throwing there. But the TRD or a Ned Rig, some style of Ned Rig worm is a must have. When the when the fishing gets tough, uh, you put that thing on a little mushroom head, a little ball head, and it catches them. Yeah. If you're on a fishery where a lot of guys have now turned to the Ned Rig, go try a tube. If you're on a traditional tube fishery, go throw a Ned Rig because they smash. Uh, the next one I'm gonna talk about, a little V-tail shad. Little tiny bait, that's the three inch. I don't know if you can even see it in there, but it's just a, a little fork tail bait. Think like a 2.8 Kitek but with a fork tail instead of a paddle tail, uh, fishes extremely well on the Dabiki rig and fishes extremely well as a drop shot bait. Uh, and that, that is a sleeper, I think. That's one that's just sort of showed up in the last year and has just quietly stuck around and that is a fish catching bait. Are you done? I got one more. You got one more, all right. The last worm that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be a combination, either the four and a half fat or the six inch fat robo worm. Super universal. Again, I've I've talked about it before. Great colors, but out here on the West Coast, the Robo Worm has been winning tournaments for years on years. You know, the the six inch Margarita Mutilator three is like everybody's favorite worm out here. Um, but anyways, mm -hmm. the Robo Worm caught fish back east on them, caught fish down south on them, and they are great. 
My last one is a Jackal Archelon. Again, a bait that you may or may not have thrown. The Archelon over the last two years has become my number one flipping bait, hands down. It is the bait that I produce the best results with day after day after day when I'm flipping and punching heavy cover. That is an awesome bait. And actually on that note, since we're ending on it, our favorite flipping stick, that X-Pride 711, mm -hmm. you guys may not know that aside from just being general tackle junkies, we are also like tackle shopping junkies. So as of a few minutes ago, there are still two 7-Eleven X-Prides on Tackle Warehouse on sale that nobody has scooped. So literally the baddest flipping stick that I have ever used at any price point, it's like 289 bucks or something when it's not on sale, uh, is in stock and they are rarely in stock. Yeah, I have three of them. They're phenomenal. They're, They're amazing. They're a long rod so you can, you, you can get out there, reach out and touch things. But it's very light, very well balanced, and has the backbone to really jack them and get them out of the heavy stuff. Yeah. You know, I've tried the 7.6s, the 7.5s, the 7.4s. That 711 is, it's, it's perfect. It, I used to think that I hated flipping. I mean, I would do it. I mean, I lived on the Delta forever. You had to flip every day. I would do it all the time, but I never enjoyed it. And I thought I didn't like flipping. And when I used that flipping stick, I realized that I didn't like the gear I was using that I was too tip heavy and it was exhausting and that was why I didn't like flipping. It is amazing the difference that the right rod makes. Anyway, tangent for yeah. you. But but there you have it guys. That is 10 or 12 soft plastics that if you go out and you get uh, a handful of colors in, in, the, in those plastics, you can fish all around the country. You can fish mm -hmm. year round and produce fish. Guys, with that, we are going to wrap up this insane extended <laughs> weekend. weekend. Yeah. It's the end of the sales today. Uh, again, we're going to take a little break, probably get back to doing some actual fishing, some instruction, some teaching, and then we'll pick back up and do a whole bunch more buyer's guides for you as we get closer to Christmas. We appreciate you coming along with us. We appreciate all the amazing feedback that we've been getting in the comments yeah. and the emails. Uh, it's been awesome. You guys are the best. We appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you.